be in the garden. Be in nature. I trust your word. I certainly am. This right here is progress. This right here is to bring you up to date with how the canna lilies are doing. This one right here is just trying to put on the flowers. Do you remember? I will certainly put a description or a link, I should say, to when I planted this canna lily. It's been a few months now and they're doing great. I added to the base of the canna lilies the pink clover, the red clover, and they're doing just magnificently. So I just thought I'd let you see the progress on this plant here. Okay, so, so in this video here, I'm going to bring you on an update to show you how the canna lilies are doing, but also some other plants that I have doing very well in the garden. Um, there are definitely some plants which have uh, not done as well as I would have liked them to, but hey, gardening is definitely a game of patience and you have to follow the rules of mother nature. So I have the canna lilies here. I also have some sunflowers on that side and they're not doing too badly I'm going to show you what they're looking like at the moment they're, they are probably about four feet tall the sunflowers but I am expecting them to get as tall as eight or ten feet tall so I'm going to show you the sunflowers as well in this particular video I'm also going to bring you a little bit up to date with what's happening in the pond area okay so join me and welcome to be in the garden being in nature all good for you trusting your well as always as i'm certainly am <sighs> just enjoy nature at its best thank you for watching it's well see so here we have the sunflower um they're pretty on good height i know they're definitely thirsty thirsty people so they like to get fed and we've had a lot of rain and sun and rain and sun this one here is just beginning to show the start of what will become hopefully a huge flower head a huge huge head um i think the thing with the, the sunflowers is um the slugs love them at the early stages so i know a lot of people tell me they plant sunflowers and don't have anything to show for them but um, let me just see if I can stick my head in the picture. Dana, here I am. Um, a lot of people say they don't have anything to show for the sunflowers, but I certainly have to plant them indoors to begin with and let them put on quite a bit of height before planting them out. The slugs will demolish this otherwise. So I hope you can see me here and there's going to be a reference to the size of my head in comparison to the flowers once they're grown because they do say that um, these particular ones I've planted should end up being as big as my head. Now I know my head is big. Anyway. <laughs> well I can't ignore the lavenders. And there are different types of lavenders. You can have the white flowers, the purple flowers, the deep mauve, a mixture of different colours. There are different types of lavenders. Of course there are so many different types. But what I have here, I'll put the name in the description. And um, they have a great fragrance, a beautiful aroma here. And the bees certainly love coming and enjoying this plant in the garden. And there's plenty for them to enjoy here just wafting in the wind in the summer breeze just wafting here we have the lavender let's see what else is happening in this garden at this time
the jasmines continue to sh not only show off their bloom, but to fill the garden with their aroma, their fragrance. A very reliable plant puts on foliage more and more each year. If you're looking for a plant that flowers for long periods actually, then absolutely, why not? This is jasmine. And the mixture of the jasmine with the lavender. You can just imagine, right? See if you can spot the dragonfly that would have emerged from the pond. Oh, and it's gone. And it's gone. Well, I'm by the pond and I'm just by the bench at the head of the pond and I've got this beautiful raspberry which I just must eat. Oops, oh, so juicy, so juicy, look. Here are the raspberries I've just picked. Look, it's even, they're so juicy, they've even dyed my fingers. Mm. Just melts away, just melts away. Mm. Oh, I hope you can see me eating these because they're so delicious, look melts in the mouth delicious raspberry canes they just keep on giving you raspberries year after year so it's a great investment let's see i don't even know if you can see me but i'm at the pond area and i love staying here this is a great part look you can see the sun it's a sun trap here but let me just show you what i've got around this pond area this is such a tranquil place for me it's where I feel I can recharge my batteries and recharge my energy. Just sitting here listening to nature. Of course, there are others out in their garden too. So you can hear the drilling of the drilling or the sanding down or different machines. You can hear them out here too. But you can just shut that out when I, I find I can just shut that all out when I'm back here. I can see some bees that are landing on the foliage in the pond. There's a butterfly that has just come to visit. And she is welcome. She is absolutely welcome. bees that are coming down to drink from the pond. And the dragonflies that have emerged, I've seen several here, and their skeletal remains. I'll see if I can find some for you to see just now. But I love this space here by the pond. It's a mixture of shade and sun. You've got the pear trees just growing to the side and um, they'll be harvested in a few weeks time. You can feel this energy space here with me, can't you? You can feel that this space is just so relaxing. sometimes catch the toads just at the edge of the pond. I can't see any today, but they are there. 
you can hear children playing in the background. You can hear the wind as she visits. There's beauty in every single part of this garden, just as there is beauty, just as there is beauty in every part of us. This flower here, whose name I forget, is so tiny. It's the size, not much bigger than a poppy seed, the flower itself, yet its detail, its perfection, the stones, they were all brought in by me as I created this pond. Cobwebs. They're welcome here too. It's a fern. It's a catnip. Look at that. There's nature everywhere. The taller ferns. And the light and the sun and the shadows and the shade and the greenery and the texture and the architecture and the leaves and the life and the energy and the gratitude. And the wind and the colours and the habitat. And the safety. And the sounds. And the life. And the sounds. And the joy. And the pleasure. and the food and the blessings and the touch and the connection and the presence and the just being no, and my toes are not manicured but they're perfect because they're doing what they need to do which is to be able to walk and to feel and the shapes Stillness. And the wind. Juicy, succulent, warm, sweet raspberry. Straight off. Okay. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. So, I really am grateful for the space that I have. I know that for many people, it may not be possible to have an outdoor space, a garden. I would encourage everyone.
occupying whatever might otherwise be occupying this space. So as I sit here, there's just so much I can see. Um, and feel. I'm looking forward to the first plums ripening and also the apricots actually here. I think you'll see that in one of my past videos, the apricots. Um, there's quite a few quinces here, no pears, there are raspberries, there are blueberries. But more than that, there's just, um, it's just nature, myself and nature. chill day in the garden. I showed you the can of lilies. I showed you the sunflower. I even showed you my dry toes. Because that really needed boiling. But hey, you know, if you can't show the good and the bad, then what is it all about? Um, yeah. But maybe I'll book in a manicure, pedicure. Not like her. Um, look at this thing I've just now seen. Now this is just all the things I just I was just so curious about everything. But look at this. This is the tiniest. What do you think? I think this could be could be this might have fallen off the oak tree that sat in the back. It's a tiny little something. Let me see if I can bring it into focus. But even this brings me joy. Where am I? Here, there, there. But even this brings me joy. It might be a tiny acorn from the oak tree. It might be, but even this is life, right? Even this has purpose. So if this has purpose, if this has purpose, gosh, we all have purpose. So sometimes, I know sometimes we might feel in a rut or we might feel sad or down or all kinds of ways. Occasionally we just need to stop and see that even we have purpose. I can see something else here that looks as if it has no purpose. I've just seen a seed, probably from the apricot or from the plum. And it looks as if it has no purpose, but it too has purpose. The flesh has been, I'm assuming, consumed by something and something's biting the inside and it could make a home <laughs> or it can re-germinate and grow and become another tree. A butterfly has just flown past me. We all have purpose. We all have purpose. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being with me in this video. Thank you for your support. It is appreciated. It is appreciated. It is appreciated. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Do you see that butterfly just going past?